Coach, with the Knicks coming off a back-to-back, just how important is the pace of play and establishing how fast you guys want to play out of the gates? Um, it's, it's definitely important. Um, even if a team is not off a of back-to-back, it's, it's what we want to do. It's, we want to get stops. We want to um, play with pace, get out in transition if we can. That's, that's some of our best offense. It's hard to believe that the corner three now makes up almost 20% of total jump shots in the NBA. I noticed yesterday at practice that you guys have taped out boxes in the short corner and deep corner. What's the reasoning and logic behind that? Spacing. You know, we want to make sure we, we get to spacing. And most of our sets, you know, you, you're going to have somebody in the corners. You're going to have guys in the high slot area. Um, and when we have space, we have much more room to operate. So that's, that's the gist of it. Just did a... Really nice job on the, the glass against Memphis. Um, how mindful do you have to be of, of Mitchell Robinson and, and what New York you know can do on the boards? Very mindful. Um, he, he's a he's a difference maker, Mitchell Robinson, um, on both ends of the floor. Uh, defensively, they do a great job of protecting the paint. Uh, he's normally in a drop coverage, and anybody that comes to the basket, you know, he's he's down there waiting for you. Um, He's, he's a great offensive rebounder. So when we do get stops, we have to make sure all five guys are engaged in boxing out. Brunson, uh, I mean, he, he doesn't play like a lot of the guards in today's NBA play. Does he does he remind you of like, you know, guys of your era before that? Like, do you see kind of, I guess, old school elements of his game? You know, he he's he's he has his own identity and. Um, you know he can he can score when he needs to. He can facilitate. Uh, he he brings a level of tough toughness and leadership to the, the Knicks team. And uh, you know you can't let him get going and let him get confident. And um, we saw against Atlanta. You know he shot the three ball well. So you got to make sure you know where he is at all times and uh, make his catches tough. Make it tough for him in pick and rolls. And you talked you know about one the. To- get B.I. and Z involved more in actions together just so it doesn't have that your turn, my turn type of feel. What, what kind of progress do you think y'all have made with that since the start of camp? We're getting better and better. Uh, it's going to be something that continues to develop, continues to get better as the season progresses. And just uh, for Z, what's the, what do you think is the key just when y'all are in half court sets to kind of have the spacing you need for him but also you know giving him those driving lanes so you can find those three-pointers you want? You know, the, the beauty in Z is that he, he makes great decisions with the ball. Um, so you, you give him the basketball in the middle of the floor, side of the floor, wherever he is. He can read the defense. He knows when to attack, when to find guys and kick out. And um, the main thing for him is just continue to attack. Coach, the Knicks have been putting Grimes on every team's perimeter, best perimeter scorer. Just where do you rank him in terms of defensive stoppers? Is that someone that you have to kind of like game plan for? He's a good player. Um, he he makes that first unit. He he does all the little things. He guards the best players. Uh, he keeps their spacing intact. He's ready to knock down shots when when they're available. And um, you need you know hard hat lunch pail guys like Grimes. In terms of Jalen and, and Julius and kind of the two headed attack that the Knicks have, just how do you prioritize? Is it shut down one, let the other one go? Is it like how do you prioritize? <laughs> They're, they're, they're a good combination when they're on the floor. And, um, you know, it's it's one of those games where you just got to guard your matchup and um, they'll have to do the same against us. Do you see any any similarities between Julius's game and his development and Zion at all? Or are they just two completely different players to you? Uh, a little difference in the fact that, you know, Julius, um, you know, he shoots threes. And uh, it's something that you can tell he's been working on with his game. He's elevated his game since he came in the NBA, became an all-star. Um, so he's definitely de- developing more of an outside uh, attack. Uh, but, you know, Z is more inside. He, he's more in the paint. He's more in transition. He's more in, in the post-up area. I know you were uh, pleased with some of the zone execution defensively in U.S. opener. Is that just going to be kind of signature to what the Pelicans do, or will it be team by team? Yeah, it's, it's game by game for us, uh, Monica. It's um, you know, it's something that we may have a feel for. We may throw it out there and just to kind of disrupt teams. But, you know, we'll see. We'll continue to work on it when we need to. And uh, it worked against Memphis. So we'll see how it goes tonight. Okay. Thank you all.